Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to make sure that your CPU is not throttling and also uh, to how to compare your CPU versus like other CPU of the same generation, older generation, new generation and make sure that everything is fine on your computer. So first of all, if you have an Intel, you can download the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty good tool and it's free. Um, Two things that you will need to look at, it's your thermal throttling here, so if you have issue with it, and the power limit throttling. Normally with the power limit you will not have this issue on a desktop computer, but you can have this issue on a laptop. Uh, for example, I don't know if you have a Toshiba HP or Dell, and you have a TDP of like, uh, I don't know, 35 watt, and your CPU try to have more power energy, and, but it's locked because of whatever vendor that you bought your... Uh, computer you will see a power limit throttling what the throttling is doing uh, it's pretty easy it will lower your frequency here and uh, yeah you will lose performance so for example I don't know if your maximum uh, on my computer right now my maximum uh, gigahertz is 4.6 so if I do a stress test I will see a constant 4.6 4.6 if you see some dip it's because you have thermal throttling or power limit throttling what is a thermal throttling? It's a, some kind of like a security thing on your CPU. Uh, so I don't know, when, when your CPU is starting to get too hot, uh, it will lower the frequency to make sure that the CPU will not break. So um, that's pretty good to have that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, let's start a test. I will show you what kind of uh, stats you will see. So technically the CPU utilization will go at 100% because it's a stress test. And maybe I will lag on the video because I'm right now I'm recording, so it's a bit hard to do both in the same time. But the first, the blue bar in the graph is the CPU utilization. After that, it's your temperature, so the temperature of your CPU. So uh, I'm doing kind of fine right now, honestly, because it's a bit overclocked and uh, I'm doing a stress test. And as you can see, the max core frequency here, the orange bar, you see it's stable right now it's 4.6 and it will be for the five for the next five minutes because I did all the tests so this is the way that you can test your uh, CPU uh, you will see for sure you will have some throttling a lot of like um, when I say for sure you will have some throttling uh, you will have probably some throttling on your uh, laptop a lot of laptop have issue with throttling even my new Dell experiment have the same thing my Dell XPS same thing so um, you can look at it and maybe like tweak a little bit like uh, downgrade your vol uh, voltage uh, whatever do something on your computer you can do a lot of stuff uh, to make sure that um, you don't have thermal throttling other people have older computer and uh, you can maybe clean the fan on it and stuff like that so this is the way that you can um, uh, test your computer for thermal issues also, if you want to compare your computer, you can use Cinebench R15, another free software. Uh, this one, will it's a benchmark, it will give you a number and you can compare your, comp uh, your CPU versus other CPU of the same generation or older generation. So you just have to press run and you will see an image rendering. So again, maybe I will lag a little bit in the video because I'm doing the benchmark when I'm uh, recording a video. And also it will be probably lower my score right now because I'm using, um, I'm recording the video. So this is a good uh, benchmark that you can use it pretty quick and you can make sure that your CPU doesn't have any issue after uh, the thermal test. And uh, yeah, I really like it and it's pretty stable and also it's a, it's a good, uh, Cinebench has a really good uh, reputation uh, on the market for benchmarking. After that, uh, you, you can test also um, your GPU with other um, software like Uni Engine, 3D Mark, and stuff like that. And it's pretty much the same concept. So, what is the number? Oh, not that bad. So, that's about it for this. No. Another uh, software that you can download is uh, MSI Afterburner. I really like it. Uh, with MSI Afterburner, if you have an AMD, for an example, CPU, probably the uh, Intel uh, software will not work. So you can use this one to make your tests. And um, on monitoring, you can select all the things that you want to monitor and you can drag and drop 
at the top here if you want to see it in the graph at the top so if i click detach here you see i have the cpu clock cpu temperature so if you have an amd car or you don't want to use the intel extreme tuning um, software you can just use a ms afterburner run your um your uh, stress test and look at your cpu the other good thing that you can do is you can also look at your gpu so you have more stats on it so you can download something like um uni engine valet or superposition they are free so they are really cool benchmark that you can run and look at your cpu and your gpu temperature and make sure that you don't have any thermal throttling the other uh, software that you can download it's the last one ida 64 uh, this one uh, costs money uh, you get like a 30 days free trial but after that you need to buy it so uh this one is really cool because you have uh, all the um, thermal stats clock etc at the um, bottom of the software and at the top you're doing like all your benchmarking tests etc so you have everything at the same place so that's pretty cool but uh yeah you need to pay for for this one so uh yeah that's about it guys if you have any question um, just comment in the youtube section uh, if you have issue with your cpu gpu thermal or a question about thermal fan in your case and stuff like that i will probably release a couple more video uh, so on how uh, how you can overclock your computer uh your cpu how you can overclock your gpu and make sure everything is safe so that's about it don't forget to subscribe and peace